All right, today we're going to have a look at a Brown and Sharp uh, 618 visual grind. This is a MicroMaster um, single axis. The table is hydraulic. Uh, your cross feed and your vertical feed uh, are both manual, although they both have uh, a fine feed, uh, a knob on each hand wheel for uh, fine feed. So the uh, machine is currently wired for 220 volts. And uh, being as it's hydraulic, it does have a hydraulic pump in the base and, and an oil reservoir. Other than that, uh, it's uh, a hand feed machine as far as your the table here is going. Uh, that's, that's hydraulic, we can start that for you. Speed is adjustable here. Your stops are adjusted here, or your dogs. And you can slow that down bring it back over the wheel. You can also work the machine manually. Uh, cross feed also is manual and your down feed is manual. Now you also have a, a fine feed knob here that when you lock the knob in the center as you rotate this you can have a finer more controlled uh, down feed increment. Same with your vertical uh, this being the cross movement this being the vertical. So that will move, uh, I think, one thousandths, one, one complete revolution of that knob. So it's broken up pretty fine. Um, the visual grind has this whole uh, projection and lamp house and mirror uh, assembly on it. It's all mounted and put together at the factory. This is a special. Uh, model of a MicroMaster. It's not a normal MicroMaster. It has some uh, brackets in the back that support all this and um, most of the times you see this riser plate on the chuck because you, you need to get your workpiece up in the air to, to get it in line with the light. Now what you're looking at here is uh, is a light that's inside this housing that's being shined out across the grinding wheel uh, you see our little workpiece here that you could see up on the on the screen. Also, if I was to come down with this, you would start to see the grinding wheel up there. Now, obviously, I don't have the right grinding wheel on there for this type of work. You'd want to have a special dressed wheel that you can get in there for. And uh, I don't know if, if this is even the kind of part someone would do on this machine but you would obviously want to work this wheel in between each of these little spots and this is the ideal machine so that you can be grinding and looking at your work at the same time. Now you can adjust your, vi your, your view here. You've got some adjustments to move your, your, vision, your image up and down and across, very fine adjustments because you can't, you can't move it here. It, it doesn't change it the same way. Uh, you have a light intensity. You can lower that or turn it up brighter. Uh, the arrangement on here right now is a frosted screen that I found in the cabinet here that probably was the original one. Maybe it was never used because it's in really great shape. Uh, they did have a glass, uh, just a regular clear glass on there where they probably had an overlay. You would also use this machine with an overlay uh, for the part that you were going to grind. And depending on the lens that you were using, the magnification, you would have the right uh, graphics uh, silk screened on that glass or, or, or whatever you're using. There are also uh, chart rings available for this uh, where you can have a, a slide-in mechanism and, and a round screen that you have a protractor uh, so you can measure degrees and angles. So it's a pretty versatile machine. I don't know if there's anything else quite like it. Um, you've got your uh, <clears throat> opti dresses, but that's a different type of machine. So this is all original paint this machine is really clean, really nice. Um, it's uh, running right now. You don't hear the spindle. You don't really hear the hydraulic pump, but there is one. Uh, down here you can store uh, different uh, screens and different lenses uh, and also different... Um, here's a couple of the glass that were, were in there. That's locked up there. So that's it. That's the visual grind. Um, I'm going to shut it off for a minute and just uh, show you some things real quick about it. On the, on the back here, there's a mirror. And as, we, as you adjust this mirror, you can change uh, some of the lighting on your part uh, to get the optimal lighting effect. 
Also, this goes up and down. You might need to adjust this mirror up and down once in a while. Um, but this mirror is designed to have your grinding grit blowing right into it. I know it's kind of a strange setup, but it has a protective piece of glass here that's concave, and it really uh, holds up really well. Uh, this is an excellent shape. All the lenses on this machine are in excellent shape. Uh, inside the lamp housing here is a fan. Uh, I just put a brand new fan in there, by the way. And um, you have a mirror inside here that's located or mounted on a 45 degree angle. That gives you your surface illumination. That's what allows you to see the color here, this copper color, and the striations in the metal. Um, other than that, it would just be a profile where you would only uh, just see the profile of the part. So this all comes out, like I said, and you can put different, different things in here. You would pull this out carefully and put another one in. Back here is located the mirror, and this mirror is in beautiful condition. There's no marks, there's no scrapes, there's no smudging, discoloration, or those black spots. It's really nice condition. Back in here is the lens is mounted. This is a 20X lens. There's a collar on here that you would loosen up, and uh, depending on how far in you slide this lens, that's how you adjust the focus. Uh, you know, if you had to work in the middle of your chuck, you'd have to bring this lens further in. And there's a collar, and a collar stop so that you can always go back to that same spot each time. Uh, so it's a pretty nice setup. Uh, lenses, uh, I, I guess, are out there. Um, this only comes with the 20X lens that we currently have in it. Uh, let's see here. The lamp housing uh, has a Canon type disconnect plug for your fan mounted at the top of that. Now if you don't have a fan, uh, what's going to happen here is this is going to get super hot and you're going to break your break this condenser here. This is the condenser. Uh, these are two lenses with a certain convex grind to it that goes, it disperses the light in a certain manner and then uh, goes down to the lens here and the angle on this reflects it out that way. And then it also, this being a mirror, also reflects the image back through here uh, to give you the surface illumination. So it's really nice. Uh, you have a, an adjustment up and down here. You have adjustments back and forth. Um, you have an adjustment for the uh, condenser lens. You can slide it slightly to the left or the right to really uh, dial everything in. Uh, this machine is, uh, in again, mint condition for what it is and for its, for its age. I'm assuming this is uh, mid-80s, eight, you know, something along those lines. I could be wrong, that will be on our quote. But anyway, this is the visual grind, and uh, I'm Bob Houghton. Thank you very much.